like you get to really get to know people in a very different way than most people would. Right. And I think people um, in our line of business, there's a certain, to me, personal respect because you Mm -hmm. are, you are Mm -hmm. in their home, you are in their lives. You're Mm -hmm. in it for probably a shorter amount of time. We think about Mm -hmm. it, but it's the most personal thing that has to happen. And that is the moving of your possessions. Plus, it's also one of the most expensive investments they'll ever make, if not their biggest. True. Yes. And so I've learned, yeah, with like anything to deal with money, a lot of people like it, uh, I don't know, brings a lot of anxiety or it, 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 I I feel like a lot of times it brings like a more extreme version of themselves sometimes. Yeah. And while some are more uh, educated on that Mm -hmm. aspect of it, there are some Mm -hmm. that some people that really they get it but they don't have time to because of their lives. Yeah. You know, the kids, the families, um, their work, whatever they do, they just don't have time to go through and walk through everything. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a, there's a lot of steps. Yeah. Like you said it like to listing or buying. And it's also important that you're just like in that niche because mm-hmm. things keep changing. And it's just like these little things that like, if you're not in it, you're just not going to know. And I think right. it's important. And, it's interesting because we, as you know, step through that door every day mm-hmm. with either a buyer or we're stepping in the door of a seller and we're seeing what, what everybody's wanting. And mm-hmm. it's interesting that you talk about that too. While, while we're seeing that, what's another influence that's huge mm-hmm. is that good old HGTV. <laughs> <laughs> and, and well, it's huge. as well, to- I'm, I'm curious about this HGTV. How does that have an effect? Well, it's, you know, the, the Chip and Joanna Gaines, um, okay. the people that have those redo shows, we're going to redo your home, I think has a huge influence on what that buyer's looking for because they're watching it on TV and they're like, oh, mm-hmm. look at that. I really want a kitchen that looks like that. Well, so then if the homeowner's sitting there selling and has done that to their kitchen, because that's what they want to do and mm. they enjoy it. And then all of a sudden they go to sell it. Those buyers start to gravitate toward that type of kitchen. Where else did gray beige come into the, you know, gray and white Mm. come in for so long and everybody's doing it, you know, and they put the vinyl plank floors down and and we're doing a white kitchen and the walls are Mm. gray and the trim is white, you know, white. It, Mm. it, it was this phenomenon that I think came from more of a TV thing. Yeah. Um, And then it comes into our homes and then what we're selling and what we're seeing the buyers see. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's kind of a big, big deal when, you know, someone came to you today and say, Hey, I want to put black cabinets in. You might go, Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Not yeah. really. Nobody's <laughs> looking at black cabinets right now. They're really yeah. looking for what we're, what we're hearing from our buyers are more mm. lighter cabinets or something like that. Yeah. So it's, it's a trend that I think kind of comes from more okay. of a media driven. Okay, that makes sense. There's all these like home improvement shows that exist. I forgot there's someone in Waco, Texas that had like a famous like a uh, home building show. I forgot the name of it at the time. Is that the a Fixer Upper, the Gaines family? Typically? It's a Fixer Upper. They're from yeah. Waco, Texas. I don't remember, what they're, but they're, they're, they're a big deal. I don't know who they yeah, are. Yeah, a young they're. couple with their three or four kids. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And she tends, but there's, it's interesting. I'm glad that there's more. There's a couple other young couples from er- different areas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which just shows you the different um, likes that people have and trends to go to. If we just had one show, everybody would look the same and we don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> Variety. You got to keep things different. Yeah. But yeah, I, yeah, I think that, that definitely plays a market. And so you, you sometimes kind of keep track of like kind of what trends are going on. It sounds like. Yeah, I have to, because some of my customers are the okay. owners of rental property. So oh, when they get okay. done with the rental property, it's then how do we turn it over to get something that's marketable out there and what everybody's looking for. And I, you know, as much as a buyer says, well, I don't mind fixing something up. You and I both know a buyer has enough on their head and enough stress going on, finding a loan, moving everything going on. They just want a good, clean home to move into with it. They don't have to sit there and you know, put new flooring in or new, new drywall or something pretty major. So as long as they've got something that, that is conducive to what the buyer's looking for, I think the buyers like love this house, you know, great floor plan, great neighborhood, looks clean mm-hmm. and ready to go. 
Awesome. 